All right, thank you, David. Today, I'm gonna to talk about systematic trading with sunny bands. I talk about sunny bands all the time because it's what I use for my trading and I have been using it for 36 years now. Out of my 42 year career, I've been using sunny bands for 36 years. So I want everybody to have it because I want everybody to make lots of money. So that's what I'm talking about again, but systematic this time to go in line with the theme of this webinar, which is uh, organization and being methodical. Let's see if I can get it to change slides. There we go. Uh, in addition to trading, my pay passion is in helping traders. I like to help traders who have not yet become wildly successful, which I hope you can all do, and people who have not traded much but want to learn, and folks who want to improve their trading results. So it's for beginners and intermediates of all these types. And uh, I have had many people call me. I put my number out there. It's right on the top of my website. So if anybody wants to give me a call, not during this presentation, please, but later. I answer my own phone and I visit with you. So my number's at the top of moneymentor.com. So the disclaimer is past performance is not a predictor of future results and all investing involves risk of loss. You can lose some or all of your money, so never risk more than you can afford to lose. <clears throat> Uh, I will be posting these slides on my website probably tomorrow. So these links will be clickable on the PDF. So if you want to get that, just join Money Mentor as a free member. This talk is for educational purposes only. I am not suggesting that anyone trade. I don't offer trading advice. And you should consult your brokerage person or a financial advisor about whether or not you should trade. So, you know, most folks kind of start investing and trading by picking stocks. The problem with that is which stock do you pick? You can't buy them all. So you have to pick the right ones. And I'm going to show you how I do that in just a little bit. I will, I will be using some of my proprietary indicators for this talk, including Sunny Bands and several others. I'm going to teach you how I use them to trade futures, stocks, and crypto for my own account in all kinds of markets. I've been trading for over 42 years now. I trade futures and stocks and crypto. I have traded lots of stuff other than that, but these are my primaries at this time. I don't trade options because I found real quickly that I can lose money in options and that's not the goal of my game. I'm going to tell you a little bit about my stuff, but first I'm going to show you how I trade. This is the chart I look at to make my trades and it's got lots of stuff on it, all very colorful. But the gold and purple, if you can see my mouse moving, the gold and purple line in the center is called my dynamic moving average, DMA I call it. So the gold and purple tell me lots of things about the market. And the sunny bands, which are green and blue on the top, there's two bands up here, green and blue, and then on the bottom, blue and green. So upper outer band, lower outer band, and blue and magenta candles are for the nighttime session, and green and red candles, I color them for the daytime session because uh, colors helped me to real quickly make decisions without having to think. I also have a cyan vertical bar here that tells me exactly where the market opened in California. Below this, you'll see the dynamic moving average histogram, which goes purple over here and gold over here. The intermediate colors, green, on when the purple turns green, I know the market's going to try to go up. And when the gold turns red, I know the market's going to try to go down. On the bottom, we have a little indicator I call who's on top that very quickly tells me who's on top, whether it's gold or purple. So when the purple is solid like this, a dark purple, that means that in the DMA, the purple is on top. When it's light purple like this, 
it tells me that the DMA is sideways. And that's a very important clue that I'll tell you about in a little bit. Likewise, when gold is dark gold, gold is on top. And when gold is light gold, the DMA is flat, like right here. I've got a few quips and quotes on my website, moneyminter.com, if you want to go see those. Aaron says, you can use sunny bands for options, which I didn't even know on the QQQ. When it goes purple, I go. It's a sure bet. Price crosses over the lower outer band. Sometimes you wait for a couple bars within the lower outer band. And then he trades weekly options. So he catches it on Friday, on Friday's on uh, options expiration and sells puts. And it's a sure thing. And not only in the QQQ, he did it on Tesla too. Uh, Don says, nice bands this morning. I did a couple of quick MES buys and sells, and then I bought into an upward moving ES, which was signaled by the DMA histogram, and I followed it to the top sunny band. I closed, short <laughs> sold short at the top sunny band, followed it to the bottom sunny band, uh, and he had a $4,000 account. That's what he had moved into his futures account, and he made $2,000 that day. And then he said, it doesn't get any better than that. On another day, Aaron said, I made 57.72 on the first day of my free trial of Sunny Bands. And if you're wondering what that's about, I'm going to give you my phone number right here in the chat. You can text the word Sunny Bands to my phone and I will contact you and we will set up a free trial of my indicators. So he says, it told me exactly where the turns were, even with the high volatility today. You're one of the very few people that allows test drives. It's nothing short of amazing. Come on. There. So I am a professional trader, which means I trade a lot and I pay professional data fees from the CMA and the S&P and the, all the different exchanges. I pay everybody. I've been trading since 1981, and I've been through several several crashes. 41% in 87, 38 in 2000, 52 in 2008, and the 38% COVID crash. So I've weathered all those. I'm not just a bull market trader. <clears throat> what I trade is the S&P 500 futures contract on one and five minute charts. And I've been doing this for 42 years since the inception of the S&P futures contract. And that was in 1982. Long-term stock holdings, I have hold them. I trade uh, Tesla, Google, Microsoft, Apple, Amazon, you know, the big ones, the ones that are trading a lot. I trade those for a week or more, which looks like long-term to me. And I do trade Ethereum, which was a good, good showing today. So today I'm going to show you how I trade systematically for short and long-term charts using sunny bands and my dynamic moving averages. Uh, on Sunday nights, and you can, if you want me to send you sunny side of the street, just type SSS and text me. And I'll send you a free copy of my Sunny Side of the Street, which is a weekly newsletter where I analyze 15 different markets. Actually, as of last Sunday, it's 16 different markets. I added Meta into the group. So you can see that on my website, on Sunny Side of the Street, the first thing I give, a little introduction, and then I give uh, the vantage point prediction for tomorrow. So every Sunday night, they can for free see the vantage point pre prediction. So quickly, I've been rated number one trader twice, uh, CTA, Commodity Trading Advisor. And I had a 365.5% and 178% profit those two years. I was using my sunny bands and my DMA. That's how I made my trading decisions, which I'm going to show you in a little bit. And there you can see Rourke International is my trading company and right on the top. I grew up dirt poor in Appalachia, and I realized that education was the way out, so I got a bunch of it. I've been programming for 54 years. I'm not just a trader. I'm also a programmer and an author. 
I've been trading for 42 years. Initially, I was a systems programmer for Lockheed. And then I was one of the founders of ISCO, the world's leader in computer graphics software. And I retired when I was 30. And I gave my millions to money managers because I thought that was the right thing to do. But they lost $75,000 in three weeks. And I decided I could do that poorly on my own. So I took the money back. And I taught myself to read through watching charts and reading books. So uh, my library, which people who come to my Tuesday morning live trading room or my live demo on May the 9th or my happy half hour, they can all see my books behind me. Somebody wrote in a, a message in, on Facebook, I think, and said, if, if she's such a good trader, why does she trade in a library? So I thought that was kind of cute. And I did not enter a single trade for the first year. I just watched and learned and watched and learned. I had to view the charts and integrate them into my neurology. Oh, and by the way, if you have any questions or comments, please ask them while we're here. I love to have participation. That way it'll make me happy. Okay, so let's see. So I have written five best-selling books about trading, Trading 101, 102, Electronic Trade Trading 101, Getting Started in Trading, and Trade Station Made Easy. I also wrote with a really good friend of mine, Going Vegan, the actress Linda Blair. And I also uh, ghost wrote Murray Ruggiero's Using Easy Language 9.x. And now I'm nearly finished with my latest one, which with Sam Tennis, which is 1500 pages or so. And it's the definitive guide to trade stations, easy language and OOEL programming. So if you want to know about that book or you want to copy when it first comes out, just text OME to me and I will get in contact with you and I'll set you up with a copy of the book. And I've written articles for all the major trade magazines. Go through those real quick. And here are my book covers, so you can see that. And I, I did do a monthly magazine for eight years called Traders Catalog and Resource Guide. That was before the internet and paper was the way to go in a magazine at the time, but now it's all, I quit doing it because it's all PDFs. Going Vegan with Linda Blair. And here's the new one coming in. I have customers all over the world. So just don't think because you're in the United States, not in the United States, you can't give me a call. I take WhatsApp calls all day and night. Real quickly, let's look at something. I This is a goal, everybody's goal. We want to make a six-figure income by trading. So they start out with, I want to make 120 grand a year. Now, the problem with that is that's not really a goal. It's not well specified. Now, remember, I'm a mathematician, so I have to say that. But $120,000 a year, you all, you all you think is I have to make one trade for $120,000, and that's not how it works. So more specifically, if you divide that by 12 months, that just means $10,000 a month. Now, that's looking like more of a goal. $10,000 a month divided by 20 trading days is $500 a day. Now it's looking better. That's doable. And it's just five trades at $100 each. So if you can pull $100 out of the market five times a day, you're making 120 grand a year. And in the S&P 500, there's usually between $1,000 and $3,500 every day potential. So, uh, of course, going long and short, and that's only one contract. So you need to ask yourself a question also. Are you a trader or an investor? An investor buys and holds for the long term, and a trader gets in and out, goes long and short, hoping to make short-term profits. I am both of these. So in stocks, I'm an investor. Well, I guess I'm really a trader because I don't hold them that long. So I, I do both of those things. I, I long-term trade stocks and short-term trade the E-mini. 
And of course, I have two different portfolios for that. So I'm going to break it all down and show you exactly how I trade. This is the picture I'm looking at, and it looks complex, but it's really not. Again, col color coding keys me into action. Everything to me has to be a color that means something. So there's, what was that? Was that yesterday or today? I can't tell. Recent. Uh, five, three. So that's today. And I color the bars green and red in this chart to show me the uh, day session. And in this one, I've got blue and magenta for night session. And you can see the night session pretty much just goes sideways most of the time. It kind of starts moving at 3 a.m. my time, but uh, I'm not getting up at 3 a.m. to trade anything. So if you follow the Sunny Bands rules and you look at the dynamic moving average, here's the entry signal. And we're long. Here's the short signal. And we go short. Here's the long signal. And we go long. That's about as systematic as it comes. So let's look at a chart of the Dow Jones 30 industrials real quick, because everybody knows what that is. So there's the Dow. You can see, obviously, this is on a daily chart, and you can see it goes up and down and up and down. Now, the trick is, of course, how do you know when to go short and when do you know to go long? Or if you're not going short, how do you know when to get long and when to get out? So that's the trick, which is why I invented my dynamic moving average. We're going to look at some other moving averages in a minute, but this one I created because all other moving averages, and I've tested them all, produce a whole lot of whipsaw. And whipsaw you, is when the market goes back and forth and back and forth, like right in through here, you see how it's kind of moving sideways. You notice that my moving average does not cross over, whereas most conventional moving averages will cross over and back and over and back during that time. And during those times, you lose money. You catch the trend, and then you give everything and more back in the choppy time. Uh, this is a little bit of how I calculated my dynamic moving average with matrix algebra, and I also use calculus. And that's where we come up with this strange moving average that doesn't whipsaw. In fact, it, it uh, recalculates its own links for the moving averages with every tick of the market. So here we now we have purple and gold, that's the dynamic moving average moving along here. And on the outside, we have two bands, the green and the blue, and on the bottom, the green and the blue, and those are the sunny bands. And systematically, we can tell here's where we go long, we got congestion. Here's where we go short. Here we go long back up to the congestion. Because it's virtually flat here, kind of sideways, I don't trade then until we get back down here. And that's another long signal. And we go up here and go short. It's as simple as that. You just follow the rules of the sunny bands. So here's the DMA histogram along with the sunny bands. And it is the difference between the gold and, uh, gold and purple lines in my, in my dynamic moving average. So if we measure the distance from gold to purple, then we plot it down here as a histogram. When it's purple and turns green, I look for long positions. When it turns gold, I'm confident in my long positions. And when it turns red, right over here, it turns red a couple of times there. But I can discount those because... Uh, of market price action. And remember, price action trumps everything. And right here, it turns red, and I know it's time to go short. Buy and hold versus trading. Now, I have some yellow dots on this chart at this point. Those are my PHW dots, potential hourly wage. And I'm going to talk about that in just a minute. But they show me the, the ideal trades. And they show me if I had gone long at this dot and gone to that dot, what would that add up to be? So I add that up in, in the indicator and I print it on the right side of the chart. I also have a um, hmm, analysis commentary tool that you can put on that so you can see exactly what your PHW is up to the, that point. So potential hourly wage. So here's the E-mini this morning. 
and you can see the ph w dots the yellow dots showing and i don't trade during the night hour so there's no yellow dots over there and these yellow dots show you the perfect entries to go long and short and i did this before it finished doing all its gyrations today so that's not the whole of today yet and this isn't a live chart And can, you can see right there with the arrows, those are where the sunny bands said to go long and short. So that's about as close to perfect as you can get. So PHW is potential hourly wage. Because I figured a long time ago, if I couldn't make more than the $15 an hour I'd make at McDonald's, then I shouldn't be a trader. So you want to know if if... If you're pulling a negative hourly wage, you know you'd be better off with a job. But if you can get your potential hourly wage up, well, one of my clients I was talking to this morning, one of my mentoring clients said she made $1,000 an hour yesterday. She made $6,000 trading with Sunny Bands. So can you make more money by trading than by working for an hourly wage? You really need to know that. So the dots are the ideal turning points. But of course, we can't be perfect. There's no way you're going to catch every top and every bottom in order to make that ideal. So I take 60% of the ideal as my goal. I figure I'll give 20% away on the entry and 20% away on the exit, which leaves me 60% of each move, which I think is a realistic goal. So here's buy and hold. If you buy at the beginning of the chart on the Dow Jones and sell at the end, that's $2,778. So you buy at the beginning, which is 90 weeks ago on this chart. So in 90 weeks, you make $2,700. But if you trade the same chart, instead of buy and hold, you go long and short, then trading the highs and lows with the PHW, which is 60% of the ideal, on that same chart is $80,000 instead of $2,700 quite a difference so how do you know how to do that how did you know pick stocks that in 1982 you should be buying apple well you didn't so when they talk about well if you'd bought apple in 1982 you would have made 57 thousand percent return how do you know to hold it for 40 years so I look at my Sunny Bands indicator and the histogram and my PHW indicator, and that's how I choose what to trade when I'm looking at stocks. Here's the same idea on Ethereum. So we've got the night session in magenta and blue. We've got the day session in red and green. This is a five minute chart. And you can see Sunny Bands signal to buy here, sell there, a buy over here, sell up here down to the midline and then it got kind of wild, and I don't usually trade Fed announcement days, but taking it up to here is a nice, tidy profit. Uh, if you were to buy and hold Ethereum, you lose $170 versus trading. You make $19,000 trading Ethereum. That was on a daily chart. So my software works on any symbol and on any time frame. You can trade it on daily, monthly, weekly, hourly, 15 minutes, five minutes, one minute. I haven't tried it on tick charts, but it works on most anything. Here, for instance, is a 30-minute chart of the E-mini. Here's a five-minute chart of the E-mini, and you see it going right to those bands over and over again. Apple, if you're trading stocks, there's Apple on a 15-minute chart. Here's Apple on a daily chart. So you can see that it just goes down to the bottom, up to the midline, down to the bottom, up to the top, down again, up to the midline, back down again. And I, when I give you a free seven day trial of my indicators, I also schedule two Zoom calls. One for me to install the software for you and show you how to use it. And another where we trade in the live markets together using your sunny bands in the trial session. Somebody says Rinko. Yes, I think so, Rinko. I haven't tried that, but I've looked at it. Here's Apple. Apple. <laughs> Here's Apple on a weekly chart. 
So you see the same sunny bands, the same signals. And in the same amount of time, at a starting value of 47 cents in 1981, and the current price at the time I wrote this was 149, an investor would have made 399%, not compounding. But the trader made 635% profit. And the day trader made 1,200% profit. So you can see there's a lot of opportunity. And that's why I'm a trader and not just an investor. So is this possible? Well, the real answer is yes and no. To some extent, it's possible, but you're never going to get all the true highs and true lows. You can't catch them all. So according to my research, you can capture about 60% of the move, and that's what's reflected by PHW. The investor, however, must sit through long periods of scary negative markets. So if you want to hold for 30 years, you got a lot of scary stuff coming up. But the trader, when they see that, can go short. So let's look at the Dow again, because it's something we're all familiar with, and you report it on the news, and you know that if they say the Dow goes up 300 points, you have a feeling for what that means. If they say it goes up eight points, you know that's a nothing day. But what about eight points on the S&P? We don't have a feeling for that. Even I don't really, but we all relate to the numbers on the Dow. So the Dow has been recovering and it's recovered 18% so far from its low. So it's doing pretty well, but it's still got a ways to go to make new highs. So at the total, it's only now down 9% from its high. So it recovered 18%, but it's not, and now it's only down nine. It was down over 20%, which is recession value, and nobody called it a recession. But I think we had a technical recession. And this is the Dow Futures. YM is the symbol for Dow Futures. And you can see this on the 15-minute chart. You can see I use the same charts for everything. Sunny bands, dynamic moving average, and dynamic moving average histogram. And again, on the bottom, we've got who's on top telling it's, it's a real easy read for me. So let's look at the standard moving averages for a minute. They're quoted on the news and Barron's and IBD and Wall Street Journal. They are the 21, the 50 day and the 200 day moving averages. And then I'm going to get to bullish bearishness. So here are the three moving averages. And I wrote a special moving average that doesn't plot as a line, it plots as dots. And out at the end, it tells me which moving average this is. And the greater than symbol means that price is above this average. If you look up here at the 50, the gold one, you can see that price is below the 50 period moving average, which is right underneath there. And it says greater than 21. So here's the 21, the blue dots, and price is indeed greater than that. I like to have these on my charts uh, at all times because I know what, what other people are watching and I can compare what's going on to what other people are thinking is going on. This is a simple moving average on a 60-minute uh, Dow futures. And you can see the blue line is the faster moving average and the magenta line is the slower moving average. And people typically trade these on the crossovers. And if you'll notice, we've simple moving average with a crossover there, crossover again, crossover again and again, another crossover in a chop, choppy period. And here we've got a, another crossover that shows us to go long and a crossover that shows us to go short. So this is the problem with moving averages. There's too many crossovers, too much whipsaw. <clears throat> Here's my moving average, though, and you'll see where were the crossovers. Right there, there's a short sign crossover. Here's a long signal crossover. Here's a short signal. I think I'm putting, yeah, and there's arrows on this, too. You can see where the signals are and how, how fewer there are than on the simple moving average. So we avoid the whipsaw this way. 
Here's my dynamic moving average with sunny bands. It calculates its own inputs dynamically with every tick of the market. That's different than anything else. There are no other moving averages that calculate their own inputs. And the sunny bands themselves are 1.2 and 2.0 average true ranges from the DMA. And the DMA is the heart of the whole thing because it's automatically recalculating its values. And so therefore, so do the sunny bands. And here we have sunny bands on that same chart. Uh, here's a, on a daily chart, there's a strategy performance report for that sunny bands uh, on the YM for two years, $90,000. And I get over and over, people ask me, is it like Bollinger Bands? And in a word, no, emphatically no. Bollinger Bands uses a simple moving average, which I just showed you has more crossovers than anything. And it's not very accurate and it's not very, it, it's lagging, quite a bit lagging. He puts standard deviation bands on there and SMAs produce the worst whipsaw. So the next chart, I'm gonna show you Bollinger Bands and that's how they look. And you see nothing about the Bollinger Bands tells me to go short right here. This could be interpreted as a lawn signal but where's the long signal down here? I guess it's here, but it doesn't come back and touch the bottom band. So, I mean, I have a lot of respect for John Bollinger. He's a friend of mine and I respect the mathematics that he's done, but that's not what I do. Here are the signals on the Bollinger bands and you can see the red dotted lines show that this is a losing trade up to here. Cyan shows a winning trade and here's a red one, another losing trade. And that's the standard Bollinger Band signals. And the performance report for this one over the same period of time shows you a loss. Sunny Band signals on a 60 minute chart for what's that a little over a month? $12,000. So there they are together. And you can see my Sunny Bands kind of go up here with the Bollinger Bands in a way and then they veer off completely and then they join up again because I'm using average true ranges. He uses standard deviations. Here's back to my indicator that I call the moving average three lines, 21, 50, and 200 day moving averages. And we can look at bearish and bullish signals on that to compare these averages. So you can see price goes up when we're greater than the 200. It all three, it's about prices above all three of these. Hang on one second. And when it goes above the 21, it usually takes off to the 50, but the 50 is down here. Usually it's above when we're moving up in the market. And then on the 200 day moving average, it'll move up. And this is a daily of the Dow futures. On a weekly perspective, there's the same thing on a weekly chart. And you can see when it right here is the sunny band signal. How does the two it price goes above the 200 at the same time? Maybe that's another signal. And then it's confirmed by going above the 21, but you would have gone in back here with sunny bands. Oh, we've got some more questions here. The concept behind my sunny bands is the dynamic moving average, which is based on calculus and matrix algebra. The whole thing is behind the sunny bands, the dynamic moving average. Can I use it on Apple computers and what trading forums, uh, forum platforms is it compatible with? Mm -hmm. uh, you can use it on Apple computers if you have an emulator or a pa parallel processor. Uh, but my indicators work on TradeStation, MultiCharts, and NinjaTrader. So yes, yeah, systematic means doing the same thing over and over again. I like to say that when you're doing it right, trading is boring because you're just doing the same thing over and over and over again. Thank you for your questions. Now on a 15 minute chart of the YM, we see the moving averages again. It's the 50 is right through here. 
the 21 is right there and it's being supported from below by the 200 day moving average or 200 period at that. Personally, I put attractors on my charts. Now, nobody else knows what attractors are, but anything that attracts price to it, whether it be my, by regression to the mean or support and resistance, I call these things attractors. So all kinds of support and resistance, including moving averages where tent price tends to revert to the mean. The next thing I put on my chart is sunny bands, and you'll see this is linked when you get the PDF. And it's all based on my dynamic moving average, which calculates its own inputs, gold and purple lines in the center of the sunny bands. And here we have the three moving averages again. You can see them on the 15 minute YM. And you can see here price didn't make it down to the 200. How do you get a signal out of that? Well, it went below the 21, I guess, but nothing tells you to, to reverse positions down here, but Sunny Bands does. So here we have attractors. You see how I draw horizontal lines on, on places where price has hit this over and over and over again, then I draw a horizontal line. Could draw one right here too, because it hits it a couple of times. Then up here, I've got a high and one, two, three, four, five, six times it hits it trying to get above it and can't. Likewise, down here, I've got support over on the left and I've got support on the right. To, to me, that's an attractor. Here's how I trade sunny bands. Right there's the signal. Comes down to the bottom, turns blue and goes back up. That's the sunny band signal. Here's another one, a short signal comes up and touches the top, reverses, goes down within the inner sunny band, and I'm short. So bring it, this is today. Look what that did today. That was pretty wild. The bars look, or the candles look normal, except for the wicks. They went exploring way outside and really fast today. So it kind of skewed the sunny bands, but they're all back together now. They've caught up. So here's how I choose stocks. I don't short stocks. I buy and hold for not that long, weeks to months, waiting for a sell signal to take profit. So when I get a, a short signal on a chart of a stock, I just get out of it. So this next chart tells me which are above all the three moving averages I mentioned and whether my DMA is bullish or bearish. And this is a radar screen and it shows me also what the potential profit is. So there's a radar screen with the S&P 500 on it. I've sorted it by PHW so I can see which is the most tradable stock or stocks, booking holdings is a good one. And you can see in this green and reddish pinkish area right here, it shows me all green if the stock is above all three of those moving averages. It shows pink when it's not above that moving average. So I look for stocks that have all three cells green. And it also tells me my dynamic moving average over here, which is bullish, bullish, bullish. And the two slashes mean it's going up strongly. Bearish has turned down, was, was going down, but it is now going up. And red bullish means it was going up, but now it's going down. So I've got a lot of information right there in one look. So there's the three moving averages and there's the dynamic moving average and the other one's the PHW. So here I've got a scanner that I run on TradeStation that looks for all the stocks that are above all three moving averages, the 21, the 50 and the 200 day moving averages. And I'm screening for high performers. So I find stocks showing all green cells and these are still bullish stocks. Here's a look at the scanner results for all over these three averages. And there were only 68 stocks this morning out of 3,600 that I watch. Only 68 were above all three moving averages and there they are. You can see this in the PDF if you wanna look at some of those and find out for your own. So here's Tesla with my powerhouse indicators. And this is a 15 minute chart. Uh, one of the things I do with people who have my free trial is I trade live with them on a Zoom call. And this guy had made 
a uh, hundred dollars, I think, yesterday when he was trading Tesla, and we made him another hundred and sixty-seven dollars during our live session. So that's pretty good. And here's Tesla on a daily chart with Sunny Bands, the dynamic moving average, and the histogram all three. <laughs> Excuse me. You can see that down here is the buy signal. Sunny bands buy signal. We go up, up, up to here, and we go short. This is a little scary, but the DMA is flat. Excuse me, saying I'm gonna take a glass of water. So the DMA is flat right through here. We get really cautious, but we hold, and it goes up to the top on green, comes back down on red, and we're short again. So all the signals I need for all the trading I do is right here in this these indicators. I do the same thing for the E-mini. So no one trades the big boy anymore, which is the at sign SP. When it was active, uh, it used I used to trade 10, 20 contracts at the big boy, and I started this in 1982. And the margin was 50 grand per contract. And... ES is the same contract, only 10 times a tenth of the size. Sorry. So ES is the current uh, contract that I trade. And the margin, oh, this is wrong. Today, the margin is 12,340, I think. And the ES started in 1997. But like I said earlier, it's not as recognizable as the Dow because the Dow, you know what 300 points up means. And you don't know for sure what that means with the ES. Well, we, we would for sure know if the ES went up 300 points, wouldn't we? The thing is, it is the most liquid commodity. So it's the most traded thing in the world, which means you can get in and get out quickly and get very get a fill price that's very close to your desired entry. Here's the three moving averages again. Uh, one question is how important are the three moving averages to you in deciding whether or not to take the trade? Well, that's a good question. In my live trading room on Tuesday mornings, which you can uh, enroll in, I do this live and I watch these three moving averages on the NASDAQ on a one minute chart. And I can tell because the NASDAQ moves either one to two seconds faster than the E-mini. So I can watch how that chart is performing with these three moving averages and get an idea uh, of confirmation from my sunny bands. So I like that. There's sunny bands this morning. We can look at those wicks again. This is a five minute chart, which is what I was trading this morning. And here's what it looks like on my main trading screen. I have one more indicator on here. It's the PHW lower, which is the lower lowest indicator. It's the lower chart, lower subgraph. And it shows the actual dollar figures of each trade from dot to dot. So you can look over here and see that you might have made 35 points there. You would have made 65 points here. So I, I keep all these on my chart. I go long and short, long and short, over and over again systematically. And there's usually three to five moves in a six and a half hour E-mini day. And that's all there is to it. It's all very systematic. I look at the attractors and the DMA histogram and the sunny bands. I trade on the E-mini one and five minute charts. And I tried three to five times a day. Like I said, if you're doing right, it's boring. Mm -hmm. With equities, I buy and hold for weeks to months to sometimes years, depending on how they're performing, but not anything lately. I do have a lot of videos on YouTube. You want to go on to my YouTube channel. Again, my phone number is right there if you want to text me or give me a call. And there's lots of videos you can watch with me talking about all kinds of stuff and even doing live trading. My website is moneymentor.com. I've had it up since 1995. My tagline is education is not expensive. Lack of education is. And you see right there's my phone number. And you can browse through all kinds of good stuff here.
Uh, if you want to see a whole lot of good stuff, go to resources over here, the resources menu, pull down, and there's all kinds of stuff under reference there. I probably have close to a thousand pages on Money Mentor. Now for the deal, my products. They were all programmed by me for use in my own trading. So everything that I have that I eventually made available to the public, and I still do, is there things that I use in my own trading. Am I afraid that selling these things to people is going to affect my trading? No, I don't sell that many of them. Uh, and it takes a whole lot of people, hundreds of thousands of them, using the same thing to affect the market. And I personally show you exactly how I use them. We get on a Zoom call together and I don't hold anything back. Like a lot of people who give lectures and they say, oh, I'm gonna show you exactly how this works. And they give you a third or two thirds of the rules and they don't give you the rest. I tell you everything I do. And I train you to use it for free. We do two Zoom calls, one to install and train you and the next one to train you in the live market. I'm always available by phone or email. I work seven days a week, 14 hours a day because I love to do it. That's just my nature. So I'm pretty much always available. So here's the free stuff. If you sign up as a member, a free member, you get a password and you can see the white papers and other free stuff for members only. So I did a free strategy trading forum. It was four weeks and you get the slides and the videos. On April last year, I did a technical analysis forum, again, free for members. In July, I did a five-week easy language forum. And that one's not free. It costs a little bit of money, not much. And they're all available on moneymentor.com. I offer education and consulting, easy language programming services, mentoring, a complete bookstore. You can buy books straight off of the bookstore. And the nice thing is I don't have a whole bunch of novels interspersed. It's just all trading books. And you go through Amazon to get them. So, but these take you to the right links. I offer distance learning and the indicators I use myself in my own trading. Not a bunch of stuff just to sell, but because I use it and I believe in it. I have a live trading room on Tuesday mornings at 7 a.m. California time and a Sunday night newsletter called The Sunny Side of the Street. So special offer for today for these listeners. If you want a free seven-day trial, either uh, text me at this number, Sunny Bands. That's an easy way to do it. And I'll even meet with you on Zoom to install and trade in the live markets to get you started. Tomorrow and the fourth of every month at 1.15 p.m. Pacific time, I have a happy half hour where it's free and where all kinds of traders all across the world get together just to chat, get to know each other, exchange their emails, ask questions, make comments. And it's a lot of fun. We have a great time. So go to moneymentor.com. And you can enroll in the happy half hour. I'll send you the link. So the links at Money Mentor, I mean, to get the link, you have to register at moneymentor.com. And there's a live demo on May the 9th, Tuesday, May the 9th at 10 a.m. Pacific time. And I'll be showing you exactly how I use Sunny Bands and trading in the live market. And that's free. I'm going to post the slides, as I said, probably tomorrow you'll go to membership and you'll be able to download those. Just go to moneymentor.com and click on membership. That's how you do it. Okay, how do I help a new trader get up and running besides selling the indicators? I'd be happy to help you get up and running, but uh, I don't think you can make nearly as much money unless you have the indicators. So that's that's... I guess my answer to that, I, I do mentoring uh, and consulting. And if you want to trade on something other than TradeStation, MultiCharts, or Ninja, I'll be happy. I know most of them, and I'll be happy to show you through them. I just would like to see you make lots of money. 
Any more questions? I've got a couple minutes left. There's no such thing as a stupid question. Usually, if you have a question, somebody else does too. So thank you, Timing Research. Thank you, Anka and David. I've enjoyed talking with this audience. And thank you for your attendance. And I love to visit, so give me a call. Here's my contact information. Oops, let's go back. There we go. So I'll leave that up for a minute so people can see it. And what's the cost of the indicator? It's $29.45. Uh, and most people during the free trial make enough money to pay for it. Okay, David, no more questions. <laughs>